The Bowling Showcase Challenge Trophy is on the line as eight teams compete in a seven-week bowling battle that will only leave one team standing and victorious. The first two teams in round one are ready to go. Head to head. When it's all over, only the winning team will move on to continue the quest. Two teams, one elimination match, round one, week one. Novi Bowl versus Lady Liberty. The battle begins right now from the bowling capital of the world on Bowling Showcase Challenge Edition. Welcome everyone to Bowl One Lanes in Troy for the opening round of the Bowling Showcase Challenge Edition. I'm your host, Mark Martin, and with me is my co-host, Stephanie Pankson. Welcome, Stephanie. Thanks, Mark. I'm excited to be here for our first round of challenge matches. Now, over the next seven weeks, we're going to be watching teams from various bowling centers going head-to-head -head in single-game elimination rounds until the final two teams emerge and a champion is crowned. And our venue for all this bowling action is right here, Bowl One Lanes in Troy. We'd like to give them a big thank you for hosting this event. I see the bowlers are warming up behind us. So Mark, why don't you tell us a little about the challenge and what we can expect over the next seven weeks? Well, what we can expect is a whole lot of excitement, fun, and competitive bowling. Starting today, we have eight teams competing head-to-head -head in a Baker format over the next four weeks in round one. Each of the five bowlers will bowl one frame each. At the conclusion of the fifth frame, the teams will swap lanes and continue to finish on with the match. Now at the end of our match, our winning team will then move on to the next round of competition and await the winners from the next three episodes. We start with eight teams, with one being eliminated each week. After four weeks, the four winning teams will square off, advancing to the championship match, where we'll crown our Bowling Showcase Challenge champion. A total of seven highly competitive matches, each brought to you in their entirety, and it all starts today. So Mark, let's get the ball rolling and tell us about the two teams competing on today's show. Our first match features Novi Bowl against Lady Liberty. Two pretty evenly matched teams, both hungry for that top prize. Should be a very exciting match. You ready, Stephanie? I'm ready. Let's, get, let's do it. Okay, we're going to move a little closer to the action, so we'll be right back after these messages right, right here, here on Bowling, Bowling Showcase. Showcase. Let's get right into the bowling action. We got Novi Bowl bowling against Lady Liberty. And the first bowler up for Novi Bowl is Joyce 
Good. Come on, Novi! Got some enthusiastic uh, Novi supporters in the audience. Oh, 4 9 split. A little bit uh, difficult split to make there, Stephanie. Uh, what do you think she should do? I personally would aim toward the 10 pin and try to slide that 4 pin over. How about the 7 pin? Aim towards the 7 pin. How's yeah. that sound? That too. <laughs> okay, she got one. Lady Liberty team is a, a team that was put together and sponsored by uh, Billy Parent, who's a, a friend of all of theirs. Uh, he decided to uh, sponsor the team. They go by the name Lady Liberty because that's the uh, sponsor of their team. Bob Benini, the first bowler, left the 10 pin. Now, being a left-handed bowler is something different than a normal right-handed bowler. What, what do you think on this one? I think it's easier for um left-handers to go for the 10 pin just because they can they don't have that gutter that they have to avoid yeah, we'll see what he does right here nice cover nice cover it's second bowler up for uh, for novi bowl is ken stud ken uh let's see what he does here Lives in Wall Lake. He's retired. Left the two pin. Two pin, relatively easy spare. Uh, kind of like, uh, but. Can just adjust off of your strike shot. So you move to the right on your feet? Yep. Use your same target? Yep. Okay. Nice cover by Ken. All right, match is moving right along here. Second bowler up for uh, Lady Liberty is uh, George Brzezinski. George also retired. He's retired from the IRS. And, uh, better not cross him because he might be showing up at your door even though he's retired looking for money. <laughs> Ooh, kind of tugged that one a little bit. Kind of moved his foot there a little bit. I thought maybe he, uh, he might have even uh, stuck. I don't know whether he, he did or not. Shoe, yep. Okay, George, you got a. Throw got your strike ball, right? yeah. yeah, got that sleeper, got that mother-in-law in there, <laughs> as we used to call it. Good cover by George. Okay, Pat Ramsey's up for the uh, for the Novi team. Pat lives in Northville. Average is 227. Also a coach for the Northville High team, high school team. Great shot, look at that, just ripped the rack out that time. Okay, so Carla Argyle lives in Waterford. She's uh, up on lane four in the third frame for Lady Liberty. Oh, she showed him how to do it, didn't she? Oh, yeah. She's, she's a lunch lady at the Waterford Schools. Really? Yeah. You know, Dave Gardner, he's the uh, fourth bowler for Novi. Up on lane three. Oh, left the bucket. So what do you think happened on that shot? Uh, looked up, it came up a little light. Yeah, a little light. He needs to move right on his next shot just to make sure it gets in that pocket. Ooh. This 
said, nobody's got 57 through the fourth frame. Now Dan Poland is up for the Lady Liberty team. He lives in White Lake, works at 300 Bowl. Oh, great shot, double for Lady Liberty. You know, this is a this could be the game of two matches. It could go back and forth. Yeah. So it can be anyone's game. Right. Bill Mueller, look at this tall drink of water. <laughs> oh, left a ten pin. So our first ten pin today for a right hander. Yeah. So uh hey. It was a good shot, though. Yeah, Bill, Bill's going to give us a lesson on how to make the 10 pin, I can tell. <laughs> that easy, easy, easy. Okay, the final bowler of the first half of the game here, the anchor person for uh, Lady Liberty, Guy Thamer. Guy works in sales. Average 211 last year. Ooh, came up a little high. 3 6 7 10 split. So, what's, what did he do, Stephanie? Did he go over and get another ball? Um, he did. I would use my spin ball and aim to the right of the three pin to slide it over into the seven, hoping to get all of them down. Okay, well that concludes the first half of the game. Uh, Lady Liberty's got 91 through 5. Nobody's got 57 through 4 and a spare in the fifth frame. We're going to take a short break, so stick around. We're going to have the, bowler, the team switch lanes, and we'll be right back on Bowling Showcase. Our biggest strength is our last four bowlers. They're all over 220. Awesome guys. If we win today, I'm going to hit my boss up for a raise. 300 isn't just a number. It is our destination. Shouting at a ball will make it strike more. Nothing is as satisfying as hurling dangerously heavy spears at stationary objects and watching X's fill the frames. You know it, we know it. So here's to the ballers, the lane dwellers, the alley cats. We are DBA. Tonight we bowl. For all the latest DBA product information, visit your local pro shop or check out damngoodbowling.com. Metro Detroit USBC, your source for everything bowling in the bowling capital of the world. We support USBC certified league and tournament competition. We provide 11 tournaments for all members of our association, including men, women, youth, seniors, scratch, and handicap competition. The top reasons for belonging to the Metro Detroit USBC are having your average recognized, bonding of league funds, rules of the game, assistance in resolving league issues, equipment standards of the game, charities, and awards. Visit us at mdusbc.com. Our team's biggest strength is friendship. We've been together for many years. Our team is fun to be around. Okay, well, we're right back. Let's pick up the action. Uh, teams have switched lanes now. Lady Liberty's on the left. And so Bob Vanini, the left-hander for, uh, for Lady Liberty, he's up. You remember in the first frame, he had nine and a spare. He left that 10 pin, but he picked it up. And now Bob's up again. Up to three, five, six. Can I put a little light on that one? Yeah, maybe he didn't quite hit it at the bottom. Yeah. You know. Bob lives in Waterford. He's a uh, material planner in the automotive industry. 
Average is 190, 53 years old. Bob took a 20 year break from bowling and came back about four or five years ago. Really? Yeah. Not bad for taking 20 years off. No, not bad at all. Now the leadoff person for the uh, Novi team, Joyce, again. Uh, Joyce had that 4 9 split, as you recall, in the first frame. She'll do better this time. She's a homemaker, lives in Northville. All right. She left the 6 10. Again, relatively easy spare. She's also a league secretary, over 45 years as a league secretary. So, uh, She's been named as sec Secretary of the Year a couple times uh, with the associations. Very good, Joyce. You know, I was talking to George earlier. Uh, George is up right now for the Lady Liberty team, and I said, uh, you, know what? you got a nickname or something? He goes, yeah. He says, they call me, hello, George. <laughs> Don't really know quite what that means, but yeah, he pounded it right in there. They all yelled hello George on that. Must mean something. So Ken, he's a 207 average bowler. Oh. Oh. Yep. Hey Ken, much like uh, what what Guy did in, on this lane, uh, bowling right, he came and got his spare ball, so uh, doesn't hook quite as much, right? right. Uh, more area. Yeah. Good cover, Ken. Okay, here comes the lunch lady. <laughs> lunch lady at the Waterford Schools, Carla Argyle. Look at this. Whoa! Great shot. Great shot. Rip that five right out of there. team is uh, looking pretty good here. They've got a uh, 17-pin lead and double working, and no one needs to uh, do something here to kind of make sure the match doesn't get away. So Patrick Ramsey. Come on. Yeah. That definitely he answered the call, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Keeping the team pumped up. That's right. Oh. Uh, Dan Poland. Been bowling for a long time. Highest average 221. Oh, ten pin. It looks like Dan just makes the adjustment with his uh, strike ball for the ten pin. Yeah. So he's not using a specific, you know, a particular ball. For just See if that works. Yeah. Yep. Very good. That's one thing about bowling. Everyone has their different styles, which is pretty cool. That's true. That's true. Dave Gardner, his occupation, you know, this is bowling, but he's a golf player. Really? Yeah. Big ball, big ball, bring it home. Ooh. Ran a little high, left a 3 6 10. He's also going to use the ball that he threw his strike, strike ball on, you know, his first ball on with, and he's uh, kind of down there. Not the conventional way, but guess what? Still made the spare. It. That's right, made the spare. It's all that matters. All right, Lady Liberty has, a t has an opportunity to close out the match here. Uh, the maximum Novi can shoot is 184. 
Lady Liberty is 160 in the eighth and a spare up in the ninth. Guy Thamer left the 10 pin. There are a lot of 10 pins this match. Yep. The guy's got his. Uh, did that match it? That wraps up the match. Because, uh, um, Lady Liberty's got 188 right now, even if nothing else happens. So. Guy taking that uh, fair ball down there, converts a 10 pin. Good shot. So, Lady Liberty is the first winner in the bowling showcase challenge here in round one, week one. So, uh, we're just finishing things out. Oh, it threw a lot of pins there. 198 for the Lady Liberty team. Phil Mueller, he's going to go ahead and finish out because uh, so they at least post their score. It looks like the Novi Bowl team will be going home to Novi. <laughs> they still bowled well. They bowled well. They bowled really well. I hope they had a good time. I think they did. They look like they had a good time. A good shot. Yeah, good shot by Bill. Bill, his high average, 234. He lives in Plymouth. And he owns a subway. He owns a subway shop. We'll have to find out where that's at and go in and see if we can get some free grub. <laughs> subway is pretty good. All right. Nice double. Might as well go out in a bang. Yep. You know, we've had a really good competitive match this first time. I know Lady Liberty's got the, the match and already won the match, but, you know, it's really competitive, wasn't it? Yeah, it's a nice head-to-head -head game. All right, good finish, good finish. Okay, well stick with us. We're gonna go out and congratulate the winners when we come back after these messages. Owning and operating a bowling center is a unique business and no one knows it like Sandy Hansel and Associates. We've been buying, selling, and valuing bowling centers for over 30 years. We've sold over 500 centers and valued more than 1,200 centers throughout the United States and Canada. We often assist the purchaser in securing financing, obtaining your liquor license transfer, and avoiding potential pitfalls unique to this business. Trust your next bowling center transaction to Sandy Hansel & Associates, bowling's only full-service broker, appraiser, and financial advisors. Visit us at sandyhansel.com. The Bowling Centers Association of Michigan is a nonprofit trade organization that protects, promotes, and advances the interest of its members and member centers. It is the only association in Michigan affiliated with the Bowling Proprietors Association of America. Benefits include group purchasing programs, tournaments, annual convention and trade show, education seminars, and legislative representation. Interested in becoming a member? Contact Ken Prokopek at 630-235-7794 or visit mibowl.com for more information. So when our team wins today, we're going to hold that trophy high. Okay, we're here with our winning team, the Lady Liberty team. Beat Novi Bowl 198 to 183. You know, our uh, team spokesman, team captain here, Guy, the anchor guy. You're that guy, right? I'm that guy. That's right. But you had a star in Carla. She yes. threw two strikes. So tell us a little bit about your team uh, chemistry. Well. I've known these guys for quite a while now. We've been bowling in the same center for 10 years now, 12 years. So I feel comfortable with my team. Okay. And who sponsored your team? I'd like to thank Billy Parent for sponsoring Lady Liberty. Okay. And I see a little trophy back here. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Or let Carla tell us about Carla, that. Carla, why don't you tell us about the trophy? Well, there's two Lady Liberties on Tuesday night. There's the women's team and the guys team. And this will be the fifth week that the ladies have beat the guys the first game so we're taking it back home again <laughs> very good 
Well, congratulations to, again. You're going to face in the second round. We don't know who yet, but you'll be facing the winner of next week's match. So congratulations to all of you. Good performance, and we'll see you next time. Thank you very much. Right here on Bowling Showcase. So the Lady Liberty team with members Bob Benini, Carla Argyle, Dan Poland, Guy Thamer, and hello, George Brzezinski, are the first Bowling Showcase Challenge team to move into the second round by beating Novi Bowl. Now, Lady Liberty waits for their second round opponent to emerge from next week's match. And what an exciting match it will be with Thunderbolt Lanes taking on Cherry Hill Lanes North with the winner facing Lady Liberty. There's lots more bowling action, excitement, and entertainment coming in the weeks ahead as the quest for the Bowling Showcase Challenge Trophy continues. So stay tuned, and we'll see you next week from the bowling capital of the world on Bowling Showcase Challenge Edition.